Hello, welcome back to Full Time Devils. It's me, it's Squawker Dave, and we are back for a three point review. This time we're going to be talking about Manchester United versus West Ham United in the FA Cup. On to number one Louis Van Gaal's process is going the right way. I don't think it is. It's absolute rubbish. This style of football that we get to see week in, week out, 90 minutes of absolute dross. The ball goes into central midfield, comes back to the centre backs, works into midfield again, then goes wide to the full back to cross. We're crossing to, um, you know, Marcus Rashford it was at the weekend, then Martial later on. These are players that don't command the box in terms of, you know, height, ability to, to jump and, you know, heading technique. So I don't know why we're doing this. It's crazy that in the summer we did not go and get, if we're going to play this style of football where we keep the ball for so long and wait for the opponent, then, we, you know, we've got no creativity in the final third and we whip it out and it gets crossed in. There needs to be a target man in there. You know, Marouane Fellaini could, you know, could even do a job there. Not in central midfield, he's been absolutely atrocious there, but up front, why not? If they're going to cross the ball that many times, you might as well have a target in there for... God's sake. But anyway, second part of the, the process where I feel is going completely wrong is the transition. The transition from defence to attack. Manchester United have the worst transition in the Premier League, probably the worst in Europe. It's so slow, it's so predictable, and every single time United break, the ball always comes back to a centre-back or a central midfielder. You don't want to do that when you're breaking. When you're breaking, you want to be attacking the, um, you know, the opposition when they haven't got organised. There was a moment in the game where United had a break, the break was on, three on four, and then it came to a situation where West Ham had got back and eight on three. What are the United players doing? Where's the support there? Where's the full-back busting going? Where's the central midfielder getting in there? And it's not good enough. It's disjoint. The best United teams that we've ever seen have always been built on a solid, you know, counter-attack. Look at the team with Ronaldo, Tevez, Rooney. They were so devastating on the break. Obviously, Park Ji Sung coming in there as well. Fantastic play on the counter-attack. You know, go, go back to the team in 99. They were so good on the break as well. Giggs and then whoever you're going to play at front, York and Cole. Very direct, very good at breaking teams down that way. That's what this United team doesn't have. It's the flexibility to be able to play on the break, play with the ball or go direct. And I feel that, you know, in the, the get come up, get game coming up against Liverpool, Marouane Fellaini doesn't start in central midfield, but he has to be an option off the bench. If we are playing this where we're crossing the ball and we need to score goals, might as well get Marouane Fellaini on as a striker because he's the only sort of player in our squad that's a, a target, a physical thing. You know, get the ball to him, go direct. We need to see that more, especially against this, you know, the game coming up against Liverpool and against West Ham uh, in the second leg. It needs to happen. Sorry, second leg, the replay. It needs to happen if necessary. You know, if we go a goal down, it needs to happen. On to number two, Bastian Schweinsteiger is back, baby. What a performance from the German international midfielder. He came on when Man United couldn't string any passes together that were, you know, that had any intent. Maron Fellaini is more of a Ford Fiesta. Bastian Schweinsteiger is a Bentley and he showed his quality since, you know, when, when he came on. He showed that to be a central midfielder at the top level, you need to have more than just brawn or you need to have more than just one aspect of his game. He has it all. He has that passing range. He has the you know, positional sense. That's what was so good about Bastian Schweinsteiger in the game when he came on, is that he was shuffling out to that left-hand side to create a 3v2 on the West Ham fullbacks. It was Sacco on the right wing and Antonio. They were doing quite well through the game up against Martial and, and Rojo in the first half. And then later on, when uh, Memphis came on as well, you had Bastian, Memphis and Rojo against the two players. The overload was on and United were creating chances down there. And that was Bastian Schweinsteiger's positioning to pull out wide. You're playing through your midfield as a central midfielder. Pull yourself out wide and create these opportunities, create these 1v1s. Because we know that Man United players can, can win these win these one-on-one -on -one duels. You know that Memphis can go past the player, but you need a player to be smart. Marouane Fellaini isn't smart. The poor chap, he's just not... He's just not got it up top in terms of playing passes forward and so forth but Bastian Schweinsteiger showed again why we signed him because he has that class and has that ability he needs to get fit as soon as possible we need to quadruple strap his knee tie it up and he should, hopefully he can dictate the rest of our season he can be that controlling man he can help us you know hopefully progress in the Europa League and to the FA Cup final a massive opportunity for Manchester United with Everton Palace and Watford left in the tie if we win this away away replay at West Ham could be going to the final, could be going to Wembley. It would be brilliant. But anyway, Bastion back in, get him in the team. On to number three. I don't want, just want to give you the problems, I want to give you the solution. So this is how I think Manchester United should, should set up against Liverpool in the Europa League. Let's start with in goal. Obviously, it's David De Gea. He's been in brilliant form in recent weeks. It was fantastic against Liverpool, made, made six saves and kept them the scoreline respectable in a way. Could have been five, six without David De Gea in goal. Uh, at right back, I'm going to continue with Varela. He was brilliant against West Ham. I thought defensively he was very, very switched on. You know, the uh, moment where West Ham broke on the halfway line, he used his pace to get back inside, won the free kick turned over the play. Uh, going to go to centre-half, so I'm going to go with Chris Smalling, who's 
Not shown the best form of late, but against West Ham defensively, I thought he was very, very good. He needs to improve again on the ball. Um, you know, sort of around Christmas time, he was dominant on the ball, charging forward, playing good passes. He needs to get that back. Partnering him, it's got to be Fusu Mensa. It has to be that man. Daily Bin looks very tired at the moment. I think he's played more games than any United player this season, and he just needs a rest. I feel a bit sorry for Daly, obviously playing out of position at centre back all season. You know, coming up against big burly forwards, and he's quite a slight man, not very good on the spin. So that's why I like to see Fusu come in there, strong, pacely, athletic, and he's won 71% of his tackles in the Premier League so far for Manchester United. Left back, uh, going to continue with Rojo. I thought going forward, he was quite good against West Ham. Um, looked like he's got a bit more than. Than, uh, other players we've seen there this season. Balfour Jackson's very good at, at crossing, but Rojo looked like he had a little bit more finesse, playing those passes into the, the winger, whether it was Memphis or Martial. Into midfield, we've got to go Morgan Schneid then holding. He's got to do a great job on uh, Firmino. Firmino was my man of the match um, in the in the clash last week, and he just had a really good performance with the ball um, and pressed very, very well. But I, I think with Schneidlin, if you get Morgan Schneidlin to sit on him like he did to Meza Ozil, you'll kill Liverpool's attack if you can kill Firmino, and that's what I want to see there. Into central midfield, obviously it's going to be that main man Bastian Schweinsteiger left central midfield and Herrera right central midfield I want energy I want pressing against Liverpool we won one tackle in their half um, in the first leg that is absolutely atrocious we need to show more bite more aggression more hunger and with Bastian Schweinsteiger it will also give us that control moving on to the front three I think we should go for Memphis Depay in the middle as a striker we've seen him out wide a lot this year and he's a bit hot and cold you know it's a bit too obvious of what he's doing he's coming into that stronger right foot and going for goal if we get him up front he's a bit more physical than Martial he's a bit stronger than Martial get the ball to his feet get him turn and get him running and on the counter attack he can be absolutely crucial supporting him in my front three I'm going to go for one match on the right hand side we have seen what he's done uh, to Liverpool in the past you know Wanfield Christen last year with two fantastic goals and Moreno isn't the best defender and if one matter can sneak in behind there I think that's really what my one has done quite well since joining Manchester United is ghosting into the penalty area Moreno is isn't the greatest defender so hopefully we can get Mata sort of darting in there and linking up with Ander Herrera at, um, at central midfield and Varela I think that could be a quite a nice little triangle on the right hand side and then obviously on the left it's going to be Anthony Martial he's been really good on the left hand side I kind of prefer him there this season just because physically I feel he's got to um, he's got to be a bit bigger be a bit stronger he's got to work on his um, you know ability to attack balls from wide areas with his head I'd say but out wide he's fantastic absolutely had Antonio on toast for the whole 90 minutes and that's the side I want to see I want to see hunger determination and absolute fight. But anyway guys, cheers, thanks for watching. Uh, in the comments below, I wanna know what you think of my new haircut. Obviously, there was lots of comments last week saying, get your haircut, so I took your advice and I went there. So in below, is my haircut any good or should it be improved? Till next time, subscribe, like the video. I've been Squawker Dave. See you later. Happy Monday. How's it going, guys? It's Gaz here on NUFC Daily for Full-Time Devils, talking about all the latest Man United news. Let's